Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I thought I'd do a different style video than what I'm actually directing my channel into. I thought I'd do the 50 facts about me tag. Now I know that this tag's been around for a long time on YouTube but I thought it'd be a great way for you to get to know a little bit more about me. So yeah, I looked online and I found quite a few different questions that I've sort of taken bits and pieces from that I put together to come up with my own list of questions that I'm going to answer for you. Yeah, let's just get straight into it. Question one is my full name. My full name is Phoebe Rose Moon. Question two is my date of birth. I'm born on the 11th of October 1999. Question three is my zodiac sign. I am a Libra. Question four is my favourite colour. Now, I don't really have a favourite colour. I just base it on what I wear a lot and I wear a lot of black. So I guess you could say my favourite colour is black. Question number five. My best friends. Now I have, there's five of us, so I have four best friends and you know who you are, so I'm not going to name names, but yeah, you know who you are. Question number six, do I have any tattoos and piercings? I have my ears pierced and I used to have my nose pierced, but it got really gunky and that, so I took it out because I didn't want a massive scar. I would like to get it redone, but as I said, I'm scared of getting a big scar on my face. When it comes to tattoos, I would like to get a tattoo, but I'm sort of on the fence about it. If I did, it would only be something small. Question number seven, how I feel right now. Right now I'm feeling a little bit nervous because being in front of the camera, newly in front of the camera, I do get nervous. But also I have my first AS exam tomorrow, so that's sort of keeping me on edge a little bit. AS sociology tomorrow, so wish me luck with that. Question number eight, something I really want. At the moment, I really want a car. I'm saving up for one. Nowhere near ready to buy one yet, but I do really want a car. Question nine, am I in love? Yes, I'm in love. Question number 10, my favorite film. My absolute favorite film in the whole world is Beauty and the Beast. Now I know that sounds really childish, but I will forever love Belle and all the characters in that film and the story is just my ultimate favorite film. Question 11, my favorite song. My favourite song is a song by All Saints and it's called Pure Shores. Now the reason for that is because it's the song that my dad used to put to our holiday videos and, and pictures when I was little. So it always reminds me of our holidays we used to have and just full of happy memories whenever I hear that song. Question 12, someone I miss. Now um, my mum's side of the family are Cornish and all of well that side of the family are down in Cornwall and I do miss them a lot but next week we're going to go see them staying in Cornwall for a week so I can't wait to see them there. Question 13, my pets. Now I do have a kitten called Luna, she's almost coming up to one, I'm just going to see if I can go get her. Question number 14 I believe, yep yeah, 14 where I work. I work at Dorothy Perkins and I'm a late night Thursday girl and a Saturday Sunday girl. Question number 15, habits that I have. I don't really have like a disgusting habit like biting my nails or anything. I'd say one of my habits is touching my hair. If I feel nervous or, I don't know, I just have a habit of either going like this with my hair or just playing with it or moving it around, I don't know. It's just something that I've done and always do and it's really annoying because it always ends up taking the makeup off my forehead where I just keep touching it and it, it makes my hair a little bit greasy because I keep touching it so don't keep touching your hair because it will make it greasy. <laughs> Question number 16, where I've travelled to. I've been to quite a few places, I've been to Florida quite a few times, obviously Cornwall, I've been to France, Turkey, Cancun in Mexico, I've been to Spain, I'm trying to think if there's any others, I think that's it. Might have to double check with mum on that. But yeah, I've been to um, a few places quite a few times. I've been to Florida a lot and that's like our ultimate family holiday. Oh yeah, I've also been to Cyprus. Yeah, I've been to Cyprus as well. Question number 17, where I want to travel to. I really want to go somewhere in Asia, like India, China, Thailand, somewhere like that. I want to go somewhere like Fiji as well. I always think those places look amazing. I would love to go to somewhere else in America too, maybe along the East Coast or even somewhere like Texas, New Orleans, just to try something other than Florida. To be honest, I wanna go a lot of places. I'd love to travel the world. To me, I find it mad when people say, oh, I don't wanna travel. I'm like, what? You've got a whole world out there. Like, go see it. Question number 18, last time I cried. The last time I cried was Sunday, which was yesterday, because me, my mum and my brother went to see A Dog's Purpose at the cinema and I was a wreck for the whole thing. <laughs> it was just, it was a lot, I like loved the film, but it really pulled on my heartstrings a little bit. Question number 19, future goals. Now, 
I really want to go to uni and I really want to study fashion marketing and I want to be in the fashion industry. I just, I love everything to do with it. Number 20, perfect day. I don't really have like a perfect day. I'm, I mean, I'm not one of those girls that like, I want you to spend loads of money on me. I'm not about that. I'd rather just have a nice time. Like going for a picnic can cost next to nothing on a nice day and just have fun and mess around. That would be like a perfect day. 21, number of kids I want. Haven't really thought about this too much. Obviously I'm only 17, but I'd like to have two or three, I think. 22, what upsets me? Things that upset me include unfairness. When you see people working hard or bad things happening to good people, that really upsets me. 23, when I started blogging. I started blogging in 2014 and it was two or three days after my 15th birthday. I thought, do you know what, I'm just gonna do it and I've loved doing it ever since. 24, hobbies. My hobbies are blogging, now YouTube, and I like just being outside and just spending time with my family and my friends and my boyfriend. I just like spending time with people. 23, fears. Tsunamis. I know the chances of that happening in the UK are very slim, but since I think it was the 2004 Boxing Day tsunami, there was a video on YouTube about it, and I was obviously really young, and I'd seen it a few years later, and it just petrified me like, yeah, that's something that I'm just really scared of and I think that's what puts me off going to them countries sometimes because I think, oh, if that ever happened, I don't know what I'd do. Question number 26, last song I listened to. I think it was Careless Whisper by George Michael. Don't ask. <laughs> 27, nicknames. Now, like I said, my full name's Phoebe, so you can only really shorten that to Phoebe, although my dad does call me Spoons. Always has, ever since I was little. I think it's the whole moon spoon thing. I don't know. It's just something that he's always called me. So yeah, to dad, I'm spoons. 28, am I lazy? I can be lazy. I mean, when it comes to schoolwork, I'm either really driven or completely unmotivated. I mean, I try to make myself as much as I can because obviously I've got things I want to do in life and unfortunately you have to do well in exams to do the things you want to do. But... I don't know, I'm not lazy in the sense like that. When it comes to stuff I love, I'm ge like genuinely not very lazy at all. 29, do I want tattoos? Like I said earlier, I think I will probably will end up getting one. I'll put a lot of thought into it and it probably will only be a small one. 30, am I going on holiday this year? Yep, yeah, I'm going to Cyprus with my mum, my dad, my brother and my boyfriend for two weeks. 31, things I love about myself. Um, I love... As far as like physical traits, I love my eyelashes because they get, when I whenever I do my makeup, I don't need to wear falsies because I do have quite long eyelashes. And in terms of um, personality traits, I love that I get enthusiastic about things that I love and I'm a very loyal person. Like once I'm your friend or we have that connection, I'm loyal to you. I will do anything for you and make sure that you're happy. 32, things that I hate about myself. I don't like the fact that I get caught up in a lot of things. I tend to get quite emotionally involved with a lot of things and I think that can hold me back sometimes. Sometimes I need to cut off the emotion from situations so I can just get on with doing what I need to do. 33, last thing I bought. I can't tell you that because it was one of my boyfriend's birthday presents. So yeah, that was the last thing that I bought. If or favorite book. My favorite book that I've read I don't really have a favourite book, I have a favourite author. I love James Patterson and the books that he writes. Those sort of things are the ones that I love and I've read so many of his books and I just think they're great. 35, favourite perfume. I have two favourite perfumes. One is Giorgio Armani C and the second one is Marc Jacobs Decadence. They're the two that I always flip between. 36, do I speak another language? I did French for GCSE but I... I can do basics, but I can't really speak it. I mean, I think if you're gonna learn another language, you need to either live in that country or have someone around you 24 seven who's fluent in that language. Otherwise, I don't think I'd be able to pick it up. 37, do I have any siblings? Yes, I do. I have a younger brother and he's 13 in June. 38, my favorite clothes stores. I love Topshop, River Island, Miss Selfridge. Try to think, I do love Primark. I'm missing one, new look I like. I don't really shop online, I'm really fussy with how things fit on me. I like to be comfy and for things to fit my shape properly and all the times I've ordered online it's either been baggy around my waist or too tight here and I just can't be bothered to send it back. So I generally don't really shop online unless it's something specific that I need. 
39, favourite TV show. Well, my favourite show that I've watched is Sex and the City, and I've binge watched the hell out of that, and I absolutely love this. It's, very, it's a very me show. Question 40, how tall am I? I am five foot five and a half. Now, you might think, why the half bit? It does count. Believe me, it does count. 41, can you cook? I can cook, and I do like to cook, but I'm the sort of person who, I want to do a big thing out of it. I'll be like, right, mum, this Saturday I'm cooking dinner. I'm going to do, start a main dessert. I'm going to cook the whole thing because I like to impress. And I, if I'm going to do it, I want to make sure that it's going to be worth it. Question 42, my favourite celebrity at the moment? Probably Philip Schofield. He's definitely been taken over. He's so cute and his Snapchats are so funny. So yeah, Philip Schofield. Right, now 43 is a unusual fact about me. Probably the fact that I'm a tad OCD. I like to be tidy. Now don't get me wrong, like, my room gets messy like any other teenager's bedroom would, but I don't just put that stuff away. I then clean my whole room. I hate things being out of place. I don't like it when things are turned the wrong way. I just go back and do it, which isn't too bad because it means that overall I'm quite an organized, structured, tidy person. And then 44 is another unusual fact. And that's the fact that I have dealt with really bad anxiety before i might go into a video about it i have done a blog post about it before but yeah i've dealt with really bad anxiety before question 45 any food that i hate mushrooms i hate them my dad literally bet me about 30 quid where i'd eat one and i was gagging at the thought of it i just can't deal with them literally they are it's borderline a phobia with mushrooms I hate them so much <laughs> Question 46, what do my Pandora charms mean? Now I'm not gonna like zoom in too close, but you can see. They are my Pandora charms, and I've also got a safety chain at the back. So I've got a little um, paw, which is for my cat Luna. So I've got a little one for her, and it's all sparkly, which I really like. I've got an infinity rose gold charm, which my boyfriend got for me. I've then got a little charm of a shoe, and obviously that's for my love of like fashion and just things like that. And then I've got a, I don't know what these are called, the clips. It's, got, it's a clip with little pink primroses on, and that's because my nan's always had flowers, and it's just something that reminds me of her. And then on the back I have my safety chain and I actually got one of my friends who was out in Florida this year to get this for me, I did pay that, to get this for me and it's got Mickey and Minnie on it. So yeah, that was from the Disney Pandora. 47, am I religious? I wouldn't say that I'm fully religious. I do believe that there is something else out there. I don't know whether I'm, more, I'm a more spiritual person than religious person, but I feel like that there's definitely something out there that's bigger than us. 48. Do I do any exercise or sport? No, <laughs> I don't. And which is a shame because I'd love to do horse riding, but it's just such an expensive hobby to have. I mean, when I did pee at school, when the weather was nice and not raining because they used to make us do it and like, my hair would get wet and that was obviously a disaster. But when we used to do pee at school, I actually really enjoyed it. You know, things like rounders and netball. I feel like it's just where I've now gone into sick form and it's not compulsory anymore. I just don't actively do it but I feel like I really want to because it's just it's good to keep your energy up as well doing sport and exercise and things like that. 49 my favourite holiday. My favourite holiday is probably Florida. I've been 11 times now to Disney and I'm very grateful that I've been able to go that many times and it's literally the best holiday ever. Well for me it's the best holiday ever it's just it's just something else like you can go anywhere and lay on the beach and it could just be anywhere in the world but when you're in Florida it's so I know she's cheesy, but it is magical when you've got the castle there and obviously you've got Universal Studios and the rides and yeah, I do just really love it out there. And then question 50 was why I started YouTube. Now, like I said, I've had my blog since like 2014 and I always find sometimes there's things on my blog that I can't communicate properly and I feel like a video would do it better. And also videos are so much more interactive now, like blogging is such a niche hobby to have and I feel like only bloggers really read other bloggers content. Whereas YouTube, you get people from all over watching YouTube videos. I've always watched YouTube videos and makeup tutorials and fashion posts and things. So I just wanted to jump on the bandwagon with that and just see where it takes me. 
So that's the end of the video. Hope that you enjoyed watching. I think it will be good to do different videos like this and put it amongst my fashion and beauty videos just as a break from getting like products out and not everyone wants to see that all the time. It also means that you get to know a little bit more about me as a person, which is something that I've conveyed through my blog and my writing and it's something that I wanna convey on here. So yeah, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and just leave any suggestions. I've got all my social media links down below as well as my blog. So um, yeah, it'd be great if you could give that a little look too.